All right, everybody, it's Max B. Industry Automations. We help music industry clients structure custom Airtable databases to improve their systems, their operations, their lives, automate their work. It's basically see the light beyond the spreadsheets that we've been operating in. So, the first three videos, I had taken the approach of showing you fundamental techniques. And going forward, I think what I'm going to do, in, now that we have that foundation set, is just start building in different features to this model record label base of ours. And in the process of doing that, you'll understand how the different things we learned in the beginning interplay practically. For instance, today we're going to build an employee directory. And that employee directory is going to leverage some stuff that we learned from episode one or lesson one with regards to database structure. Episode, um, sorry, lesson two with regards to gathering information. And then lesson three, um, with regards to displaying the information. So let's just dive right in. I have um, done some work in advance to get us some more demo data, this time employee names. So we're gonna go to our contacts table. Now remember, we were using the contacts table for everything, right? We're using it for someone who is the manager of an artist, someone who is a producer on a record. These are all things you can use in the contacts table. But one thing you can also do is keep a record of all your employees. Now, in the past, you probably would have used an entirely different spreadsheet to show that. In this case, it can all live in the contacts table. We'll use single select fields and nodes and linked records and relationships to indicate whatever it is we need about that employee. But just so you know, to keep it simple, if they are a human being that has an email address and performs functions in any capacity, they can live in the contacts table. And I think that alone will help simplify the data that you currently deal with. So here are just, I don't know, let's say that this particular record label has 85 employees, right? So let's just copy them first and last name. We'll come back here. Uh, we'll just paste it. So, boom. Now you see your nine records is going to go up to whatever, three or something. Let's give it a second. Fresh. Boom, yeah. It was. Okay. Then the organization is going to be industry record because these people work. And then we'll do something a little bit fancy to get their email address because I don't necessarily want to um, type them all out, but they should all have email addresses. So we're just going to put open up real quick a. Um, field that we're not going to really use. So I, I put delete on top. This is a trick that I learned uh, from some smart people that if you're creating a view or creating a field header and you know you're just using it for this one time use, just call it delete. This way you know in the future if you see it, you can delete it because otherwise you won't delete anything from your base because you'll think after too much time has passed that the chances of this field or this view or even this table being <clears throat> um, something that's interconnected with an, through an automation or some type of linkage is greater than zero. Therefore, you might as well just leave it and then your base gets cluttered and it doesn't help. So just put the word delete in there to some extent and you'll know that you can always go back and that's a safe thing to delete. So in this case, we're going to say um, equal, uh, we're going to say concatenate just show you guys that and we'll say first
dot last at industry records dot com. That should be huh. first did not it was not supposed to be in quotes. First. Okay, cool. So Doris Farmer, ba ba ba. Now I want the whole thing. I don't like the fact that there's like, you know, upper late uppercase letters in there. So you can just say lower, paste the whole thing. Great. <clears throat> copy those. Copy those. Now we can delete them. Boom. So now we have eighty five employees. Boom, boom, boom. Now Let's open up another view and we'll call this employee, employee director. Boom. And let's use first, last, organization. Eh, we don't need organization, email. And let's open up the node. And I don't know what's, if we have anything status yet. Okay, but we'll change status to something. else. Let's filter this where organizations has any of industry automations, industry records. And don't like the This wasn't meant to be. <clears throat> Forget which Harold Eves, the lawyer, here's the law, Simpson, manager. Cool. <clears throat> um, Back to the view, employee directory. Here you go. Now it's everybody who's an employee. Now let's say if you're an employee, we'll call it uh, department. And we'll say marketing, digital, A&R, um, Marketing digital A and R. Boom. And let's just start assigning people accordingly. Oops. Marketing. So twenty people put them in the marketing department. Take. Digital, take 20 people, put them in the digital department, 20 people, put them in the A&R department, and 20. And then the last group will say. Now, I'll get, we'll, we'll do a couple of these the long way and then we'll show you some tricks. All these people need to be linked to artists in the nodes, right? Because certain people on the marketing team are responsible for certain artists. Certain people on the digital team are responsible for certain artists. And in the record labels that I've worked for, it hasn't always been like blatantly clear who works for who. Like there maybe is a sheet, but that sheet changes and it doesn't get updated. And I can't find it amongst the couple dozen other sheets that show the roster assignments. So why don't we just keep it right on the main interface here and we can set it once and for all. But we do that through the nodes table. The reason why is because one contact 
can have many artists whom it's responsible for. One artist can have many contacts whom are responsible for them. There's this many-to-many -many relationship that gets created where it's just better to run that through a junction table. In this case, we call it nodes, just to complete the fun acronym, A-C-O-R-N, ACORN. Strong foundation of an oak tree. Strong foundation of your air table base. Humor me. All right, so we'll go to nodes. Let's open one up. Let's say, let's pick an artist, the Rolling Stones, pick a contact. Now, let's say Kenneth Edwards, make sure contacts allows linking to multiple records. No, let's make sure artists allows linking to multiple. So every employee needs a junction, sorry, a node where they are the contact, where they can add as many artists as they want, and where there is a type, a, a um, artist type. So we're going to say, in this case, you to the artist are, in their marketing, we'll say marketing, and say A and R, and say publicity, and we can say uh, digital. All right, so in this case, we're marketing, boom, so Keith Edwards is in the marketing department for Rolling Stones. Now, if we go back to our contacts, find Keith Edwards, okay, sorry, Kenneth Edwards. There you go. You have the node, you see it there. And we can roll up um, something we call it roster assignments. And we can just roll up from the nodes table, the artist name, where, yeah, just the artist name, should work. And we'll say array, join values. We'll show you what that looks like. The Rolling Stones. Now, let's add another one. Here's a way you can do that. You can come into the nodes here and add an artist. Let's add, oh, Rolling Stones, the Rolling Stones. Let's just keep it the Rolling Stones. Let's do the Who. Let's do, okay, there you go. Roster assignments. Now we have this person's information and their roster. So, what did we talk about last video? Automations. Let's build one because I want to create a node that's empty for every one of these employees. And I want then to be able to use the interface or to be able to use the method I just showed you to uh, make the assignments. So let's open up a field called delete here because I'm only going to use this temporarily. Um, we'll bring in, we'll checkbox it once. That's going to act as our trigger. So we'll create this automation. So automation will also be called delete because it's only going to last us uh, a second here. And we'll say when record matches conditions, this is the trigger in the contacts table where this delete field is checked. We get that one record. Let's create a record. 
in the nodes table where the contact is the person from the trigger and the type artist, right? So your relationship to the artist, we're going to switch this over to dynamic. And we're going to say that the relationship to the artist is equal to the department that you come from. It should work. So let's run it. And then this person, Doris, whomever, should have a node. There we go. Doris has a node. Now, now look, Doris's node doesn't have any assignments on it. But we can come in and add one. So let's say Doris is working with Oasis. And Doris is working with U2. Come back and we've got Oasis and U2 are on their roster. So watch this, people. We're going to turn on this automation. Now it's going to basically just run. So watch. Let's give myself a node. Boom. Empty node. Boom. Let's just start building them up. Boom. Boom. Now let's overload it a little bit. Let's do 10 or 20 at once. Watch. These nodes are just going to start filling up. Automations. Oh, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Let's give everybody a node. And then we'll show you how to accomplish this in the interface. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Awesome. Now we'll go to the interface. We've got artists and releases. Let's do another one. So we'll duplicate this. We'll duplicate it right here. We'll call this employee directory. Okay, so you got the employee directory. This we're going to make look at the contacts table. It's going to only look at specific records where the condition is that the organization has any of industry records, right? So now this is only people that we work with. Now let's limit the what's displayed. So we're going to say, uh, I can say copy settings from a view. Let's see. What Boom. First name, last name, email, department, and nodes. All right. I think we can even take away first and last. Add that. Add that. We have that in the front here. And then we have the roster. Take away the node. Take away this delete field, which that is actually going to literally get deleted. And here we go. We got the name of the person. We've got where they um, come from, I'm sorry, their email address and what department they come from, and, the, and this roster. Now, we're going to group it. Ultimately, what I want to do is change this from a grid view to a list view, but list view, last I checked, doesn't allow you to group. So we're, we're going to not gonna go back um, for now, and we can go to list in a second. Let's just keep this simple. All right. Great. Now, if you press spacebar and you want to be able to open up the record, then you have to click OK on what I just clicked. Sorry for going fast. We'll do that again um, another time. And then let's just Here, what, what happened here? Let's make this editable. Boom. They got their node. Don't really need their organization to be viewable. Let's delete that. Um, artist name. Boom. We don't need any of these. Boom. 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 All right. Let's make these wider. Wider. This is definitely not. First and last, we can maybe put them on the same line. Yeah, cool. 
And then we've got the node up here, this whole block. One here. All right, and then there's the node. Um, let's see what happens if we make this whole thing a color. And there. There we go. Put that up. So just so you guys can tell, like normally software development you know, the actual design is, you know, at least half of the time it takes. In this case, the design is, you know, one fifth of all the time it takes. You got to structure the data and then you can just drag and drop it. I hope you're appreciating the power of that. Make, we'll make email editable. No, we won't. Just keep it. Department could be editable. Let's say somebody want, we want to add department or change it, whatever. All right. So let's publish this. Let's view it. Um, okay, cool. So our employee directory, we want to start adding some people. So Gene Wilson, we hit space bar. Oh, gotta edit this, make this thing editable. This needs to definitely be editable. Publish, boom. Okay, Daniel Porter, we click into his node. Didn't work. Change the visible fields say for that want artist allow users to open records there it is there it is cool and I want to start adding artists so we have to click artist, make that editable. We don't really need the contact. Delete that. We don't need that. We don't really need that. Yeah, that's fine. We don't really need that. So let's publish it and let's get back in. All right. So you're in here. You're like Alexis Thompson. Okay, let's click into Alexis Thompson's node. Let's start adding some. Some artists that Alexis Thompson is responsible for. Boom. Boom. Great. X out. X out. Now you see Alexis Thompson. Real quick. He's got some artists assigned and they're in the marketing department etc cetera, etc cetera. publicity let's see Angel Thomas is running publicity for Aretha Franklin the Ronettes Ray Charles Sly in the Family great now you can imagine you could do it, the, now that these are linked, you could do it the same way. We could go to the artist table and we could create a field that displays who the team is. So let's do that and then we'll end for today. So let's go to artists. Sorry, I'm gonna go back to uh, the base here. We're gonna go to artists and we are going to Create another 
everything right. We'll call it, um, we'll call it marketing because we only did marketers. I think. We did yeah, some, some publicity, but marketing team. And that's going to be a roll up field from the nodes table where we want contact where the type artist has marketed. And we want to array join those values. And there we go. Who's on the marketing team? Boom. So let's do one where we, we assign a second marketer to Jimi Hendrix. Uh, second marketer to Jimi Hendrix in using the methods that we just did. So let's just say Michelle Combs has Jimi Hendrix. Now we go back here and we see that the marketing team for Jimi Hendrix has two people, Kenneth Edwards and Michelle Combs. Now, you see there's no space in between the comma. I don't like that. So we're gonna put something in here and we're gonna call it Kenneth Edwards, Michelle Combs. Now, some of you might want to stack these names on top of each other. There should be a way to do that too. Um, let's see if this works. And then let's open this up. There you go. Kenneth Edwards, Michelle Combs are now stacked on top of each other. Uh, for now, I'm not going to do that. I just put it back. I hit control Z, put it back. Boom, boom. And we can now go to the artist table or the artist tab. We can click in here. We can open up a new field for view. What did I do? We want to put in the marketing team. Boom. And assuming all these artists have all our assigned people, we can very easily see marketing team. And then we can do the same thing for the press team. And then the same thing for digital team and the same thing for A&R and streaming and whatever. We can do it all and we can list it any way we want. So far we've been using grid views. Um, I really like their list view. See how it looks a little bit cleaner. And let's just keep it this at list view for now. And we'll see how that, how the far that gets us. We want to open this up for sure because that list might get a little long. But there you go. Boom. Got everything you need. All right, let me know in the comments if you guys like this structure or better. Just to recap, I think what we're going to do is just, in each video, build a new piece of this model base for record labels. And as we go, it's just going to get deeper and deeper and deeper and it's gonna um, also not only look better but it's gonna teach you the types of things that are possible with Airtable, how to implement them basically and hopefully open your eyes to what's possible beyond the spreadsheet boom it's your boy max b click here and you will see a link to the next video in this lesson series. And with that, I'm out.